Hey, what's up? How you doing? It's Daryl. Uh, if you're not familiar with me, I'm a brand developer and a logo artist. And today, I've just been sharing how I leveled up my, basically my life through getting active. Right? So, I was talking about this, me preparing for this 5K. And we're at the day of the 5K now. And got there, blood's pumping. But you know, the funny thing is, not too long before this, I, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was supportive during the process, but not everyone was really... Well, I know a couple people thought like this was a joke. Some people thought, like, you're not ready for this. And a lot of times, that's the issue. It's not so much that you don't believe you're not ready for this, but you're seeing yourself through other people's eyes. And whatever venture you're stepping out into, whatever um, thing you're moving into, a lot of times you're looking at it, looking at yourself through other people's eyes, and you believe that you're not ready for it because you believe other people think you're not ready. And at some point, you just got to like stop caring about what people think and just do it. And some people thought like, is this a joke? Like, is this, is this something serious? And um, some people thought, you know, bro, are you gonna make it? Are you gonna fall out? You know, are you gonna take forever? And you know, but so what? Just go for it. You gotta look at it as an experiment. And if you fail, which I don't really so much, the big, biggest failure for me personally is regret. Not, regret not doing something. So I don't look at trying something and not working out as a failure, giving up, or or not actually attempting the thing is a failure to me. So just go for it, and you just never know. So when I went out there, started running, uh, it was at some point, you know, it felt cool, but we hit the stretch, and it was just so long, and. Got some burst of energy, started making some moves, but there was a stretch, man, that my legs felt like they were 300 pounds each, right? I knew I was close to the front, but I knew I wasn't at the front, and there was this one guy in front of me, and I was running and running and running, and you know I didn't catch him, but I ended up coming seventh overall, second in my age group, which was way. You don't understand, I don't run. So this was way more than I ever thought I would ever do, right? And I got to the end and I saw my wife and I saw my kids and they were cheering me on and you know, I pulled out my phone and I Facebook, um, not Facebook, um, Instagrammed it, story it. And you know, it was a great accomplishment. But I looked back at the picture that I took after I was finished, and I saw that I had on some old shoes, some shoes that I used to that I used to wear to my day job, and a t-shirt and some shorts. Like I, I I didn't have all the equipment, and sometimes you're not gonna have all the equipment. That's what I'm trying to get at you. you you're not gonna you're not gonna seem like you're ready. You're not gonna have all the equipment, but you got to step out. Planning is also a form of paralyzing you. At some point, you have to stop planning and just do. Start setting things in motion. Start stepping out. Start moving towards this, this venture, this goal, this this pursuit, right? Now, I mean, now I got better shoes for the next time I'm running. I'm, I got a little techniques that I've looked up. But in the beginning, you don't have to have every single thing. You have to have something to start with, yes? But more importantly, you have to start. A lot of times it's not so much that we don't have something to start with. It's that we are not starting. So, so one, stop looking at yourself through other people's eyes. Just step out and go for it. All right? Two, you're not going to have all the equipment. You're not going to have every single thing. Right? Stop planning. Stop planning. Stop getting things together. Start. You're not starting. Right? And then afterwards, you know, you build as you go along. Now the next 5K I do, or next any kind of running venture that I do, I'll be ready. I'll be much more prepared than before. But I wasn't prepared. 
I mean, I was prepared in the sense of I was able to run because I was doing it consistently for, for weeks before, but I didn't have so-called all the running gear. And I came seventh overall. Nobody believed that. And, you know, there were some people that after I did it, the way how it seemed like it was easy, they were like, oh, man, this ain't much. Don't pay attention to those people. Just keep going. You know what I mean? Just keep going. Level up. Level up. And, and this just shows me that if you stay the course and you be consistent, you can make it. You can get to your goal. But what's stopping us is we haven't started yet. So, I have one question for you. Have you started yet? If not, let's go get it.